So today I'm going to be putting in a Roy Pal Model S5156, which is the entry level battery Roy Pal offers, into a 2012 Club Car President. Uh, this one's getting rebuilt, um, obviously, because it's in very rough condition. Um, so this had the six 8 volt battery set up in it. Um, easy way you can tell is the controllers on the rear of the battery tray. If this was the 412 volt, the, bat, the controller would have been right through the center there, right where you see the wiring. Um, then you would have had a 12 volt, 12 volt, and then two more on the other side. Um, so on this one, since it has the six 8 volt set up, we're gonna be putting the battery on one side of the golf cart, which will be on the passenger side. Um, so we got the battery, then we get ordered the mounting bracket with it. Okay, I got the mounting bracket taken out of the box. Um, it does come with the hardware to mount it to the bottom of the battery. Now I do have it on the side, uh, just to make it easier on me to um, mount up that, that bracket. Now it does come with the battery meter. Um, you order a charger with it, a lithium charger, and then you get the plug for your specific golf cart. Uh, again, I ordered for a club car. Um, let me go ahead and get this mounted up and show you what it looks like. Now these thread in pretty easily. Um, you know, you don't, you definitely want to start with your hand to thread them. Otherwise you could possibly cross thread it and then you have to worry about drilling it out and putting new bolts in it. So already hand uh, threaded them. So we're good as that. Thing. to be flat whenever you zap it down or if you're using a wrench you want to make sure your lock washer is flat that way it doesn't come loose so now we've got the bracket on so now it's ready to go in the golf cart so i put the battery in the golf cart um the reason i use it on the passenger side is because whenever you you know get to your golf cart you lift up your seat to uh to turn on the battery it's just better they don't have to walk around the other side um to power it on um, and plus you can easily see everything on it from the driver's side so what we're going to do now is we have to drill um there's holes down here let me lift it out of here and i'll show you where those holes are so as you can see the two holes right here now they're going to be on both sides as you see right there there's no holes in your battery tray for those you know from the factory so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to either put your bracket in here first mark your holes and drill it or what i do is i put the battery and make sure i like where it's sitting um which So that way you can kind of move it around and see exactly where you like it to sit um, and then drill your holes. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the bracket on. I'm just gonna mark my holes um, and then just drill through it and then put the battery back in. All right, now that I got my holes drilled out, as you see down there and over here, I'm ready to put the hardware in. Um, I, I personally took the battery out. Um, I first marked the holes uh, with a Sharpie to where I need to drill. Um, then I pulled the battery out and I just drilled the holes. It's plastic, so it, it zips right through real quick. Now your battery will come with hardware, as you see here. Um, this is what's used to secure it to the golf cart. So now that my holes are drilled, just gonna put it through. And then I'm gonna do all four. So you just push it all the way through and then you just get a nut for the bottom. Um, your washer, is actually stuck up here so you can't actually remove it so this is going to stay on the top and then you just put your nut on the bottom okay now that i've got the hardware down here tightened up so the battery is now secured to the golf cart i can go ahead and start hooking up uh, my battery cables um, i go ahead and hook the negative up and then the positive um, if you have corrosion on it go ahead and clean it off um, you won't have to worry about corrosion going forward because this won't be near a lead acid battery anymore, so you won't have to worry about any corrosion building up. Um, but it comes with hardware to not only for these guys down here to mount it to your battery tray, but it also comes with the hardware to mount it to the terminals. Okay, now that we have the, the bolts in place, I hand threaded them again, 
just don't have to worry about uh, cross threading it. You just uh, zap it down until the lock washer is flat. Which you can see there is a little blurry. And as you can see there, the lock washer right there is flat. Um, and then once you have it have it hooked up, you, it does come with a battery meter, uh, which is very simple to install. It goes right here. So you just rotate it until it goes in, and you start twisting this to snug it up. It doesn't have to be super tight, but it's right there. So the way to power this on is you got a main switch here. You hold it until the green light comes on. And there it is. And then the battery meter, obviously I need to charge it. Um, now this does come with plenty of additional cord to mount it wherever you want to do it. Most people run it to the dash. Um, that's usually where. Um, you do have a battery meter right there from the factory on Club Car. Here you can take that guy out and just cut it into right there. But the lithium battery is in, it's hooked up. Now, if you're gonna be running a light kit, um, understand most are set up for 12 volts, which now you don't have the option to just hook up your battery, um, hook it straight to your battery. You'll need to actually purchase the voltage reducer to wire your light kit into. Um, and then once you get wired into your voltage reducer, um, then you can turn on your lights that way. If you hook it up to here straight without the voltage reducer, then you're probably going to blow the light kit as soon as you turn it on. Um, but when, anytime you're working, you, you want to turn off the battery. Or if you leave it for five days, go ahead and turn this off so the battery is not on, um, which is, again, very simple. Just hold it. It'll power off. And then boom, you can start working. Um, but that's the battery conversion right there. It is in. It's ready to rock and roll. It only took me about, I'd say 25, 30 minutes total to get this out of the box, everything hooked up. Um, so now it's time to rebuild this golf cart. I'm gonna go over the charger with you real quick. Um, I was pretty much done with the video is how to install the battery, but let's go over the charger. Um, you cannot use your factory charger that it came with, that your golf cart came with. Um, some look like this. Um, with the meter on the front. And then the newer style club cars come with a yellow cord. Um, it's a smaller charger. You can't use it. Those are lead acid chargers. Um, you could catch your car on fire. So you'll get your adapter. You have to specify which golf cart's for because the charger is the same on every one of them. It's just the adapter cord to charge it is different. Very simple. You got one end right here. The other end right here, it snaps, it snaps in. in and locks. As soon as you push it in, you'll see this uh, blue piece rotate. And you just want to keep pushing until it's no longer able to rotate. It's locking it in. And then you can plug this into a normal outlet. Obviously, this is your power cord that plugs into here. Okay, so I've got the charger hooked up to an outlet. Got my charger cord snapped in, ready to go. So you push it in until it's all the way in. And you'll have a green light on here it'll start flashing there you go so it's it is charging another easy way to tell is charging the fan on the top here will turn on um, so this guy can't get warm so you don't want to put it around boxes or anything um, it needs to ven ventilate otherwise that thing can overheat um, do not use your lead acid charger again um, it could catch the car on fire um, just because it's not set up to charge the lithium battery now let me unplug this real quick if your cart i did not go over this when i hooked this up if your cart has an obc which is this black box um you do have to bypass it um the easiest way to do that is go to the back of your charger port open up your wires here you just cut this wire i went behind the controller and unplugged it um which it's the better way to do it um, you just follow that wire to the back. It's a black plug plugged into a white plug. Um, I unplugged it, cut the wire, and then pulled it out of this harness. And then I just crimped a new end right here on there. And so this is for your charger. To make your cart run, you still need to hook up the cord, the wire coming off of your OBC. Um, if you do not have this, skip this part um, because you do not have the OBC. So you can just hook up your main negative and hook up your positive and then your charger will, will turn on at that point. Um, this is only if you have the OBC right there, but it's all mounted in, ready to go. It will not come out of the golf cart. 
it is secured down. Um, and then if you're gonna leave for five days, make sure you turn off that power light. Thanks for watching.